Today is Friday, which usually means I make world overview videos on this day and they come out on YouTube. However, I kind of just want to switch it up a little bit. So we're on the Sims 3 website because I want to go and look at a bunch of different worlds today. Now, this won't really be like a traditional world overview where we look at every world, every lot, the Sims. This is more so like a quick overview kind of thing because there's going to be a lot of worlds that we download. So I won't have enough time to make the video super, 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 super long. So this is more so like a quick overview, so to speak. So we're going to go over to the exchange and go down to the worlds tab i just honestly want to download worlds like for example this world right here the district republics it just came out today and it's by tiger guy four five six seven eight nine i don't know anything about this world we're just gonna download it and see what it's about there's a world that came out yesterday it's called ponce verts hopefully i pronounced that right I don't really know anything about this world. We're just going to download it and see what it is. You know what? I kind of feel like I've missed a lot of the worlds that have come out recently. So I'm going to just go over to this year and we'll just see what we have. We already downloaded this one. This one is by Idavria. Idavria. Hopefully I pronounced that right. But there's also the one beside it called My World by Nusa Litton. I don't really know anything about it. It just says My World. So we're going to download it and see what it's about. There's also this other one called Small World. So I'm guessing like it's Small World and My World. They're by the same creator. Let's just download it. There's also this one called Saint Quentin by And G m44 Ooh, this one actually has like a sims thumbnail the sims 3 creator world okay let's just download this and see what this is about this is by ervic 2 misty i can't really pronounce the rest though but it's misty something this is mtp and this one is by Benny Sims 3. Always practice caution, y'all, when you download stuff from the Sims 3 exchange because sometimes some worlds, some Sims, some lots can have bad custom content. Usually what I do is I scan everything with custard. I can leave it linked down below if you want to check it out. It's like a third-party soft. It scans your Sims 3 files to let you know what's inside of them. So if any of these worlds have bad CC, I'm going to hopefully try to get it out. <laughs> um, but let's go on. We also have this one called River north by feast on my shorts why does that kind of rhyme with the name river north feast on my shorts it kind of rhymes a, a little bit <laughs> that kind of rhymes we're gonna download it though all right let me just go over to the second tab Ooh, this one has like a dragon on it you know what we're gonna download this one and see what this one's about Ooh, the land of oz by carolyn monroe 2 i want to go to oz i want my sims to go to oz let's download it there's also this one called courage Ooh, Quaridge. I like that name or Quarteridge. Hopefully I pronounced that right. It's by Short Sim Ways. We're going to download this one. There's also this one called Edosa by Lore Gamer Yay. I'm telling y'all, I missed all of these worlds legit. Like this one, Vulcan Island MK11 or MK2. This one is by Suzanne Small. All of these worlds, y'all, I just missed out on. Didn't even know. <laughs> Steambrook. Like literally, look, this one is called Steambrook by Suzanne Small. See? I'm telling y'all, I don't know what I was doing, but I was missing out on some good worlds. We have this world right here called Northern Beaches, and it's by Nat Jenner. Okay, this one is Vertas Villa by GWV. Let's download this one. It looks like a city or a town kind of world. There's also this one called Tuscaloosa or Tuscaloosa. It's by XOXO abby xoxo and it looks like a city but i'm gonna be real with y'all i'm pretty sure this picture is not the sims 3 but i am intrigued now for some reason it's saying like everything is zero lots zero commercial lots zero residential lots i don't know what that means we're just gonna check it out to see this one is just me this one is by lisa one two three four five twenty two let's download this one and see what that one's about this is angela november 23rd or november 2023 maybe it's by k456 this one is called the realm of shadows by lunar wolf tally this one looks kind of empty but i don't know if it is or not this one is called minska i think i pronounced that right it's by lewis 35 hopefully i pronounced that right okay this one is called green hills but it uses the sunlit tides thumbnail and honestly isn't this like the ella charms sunlit tides thumbnail because it's like the fixed version of the world i'm telling y'all on the sims 3 exchange it's no telling what you're gonna get like literally it's honestly a mixed bag so i kind of want to see what this is maybe it's sunlit tides maybe it's not it's by martin qwa55 i have no idea we just want to check it out to see <laughs> oh this one has the eiffel tower it's called paris unfinished by allison w00 so i'm assuming the world isn't finished but i kind of just want to see what it looks like regardless Ooh, this one is called cape albacore i don't think i've looked at this world isn't this 
like a world that has like lots and stuff that you can add to it i feel like i'm wrong about that or i feel like i've seen something like that recently it's by heidi i kind of want to just check this one out i think this one is empty though isn't it yeah it says the lots are empty but there will be a choice of properties created by yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. okay so you can like download some lots to place here i want to just check out the world because it's been on my list of things to check out so i guess now would be a pretty good time to check it out this one is called evolving world by sassy sim 300 oh this one looks like a little star i think it says angels harbor it's kind of hard to see what that says though it's by she soul 09 i want to see what this one looks like it looks like a star or like a starfish this is a farness isle it's by big blue bulb what is this one <laughs> this one is called valentina uh What's going on here? I don't know, but I want to find out. We have this world called Lily of the Valley by Ina Shivani. Hopefully I said that right. There's also this one called Luna Rhea by Nessa B DKA. So it looks like I'm on the last page of worlds to shift through. So I think I have around 30 ish worlds downloaded. So I'm going to just go ahead and get these installed and we'll pull up the game. and We'll check them all out. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, y'all. So I installed all 30 worlds and I think I'm just going to go in alphabetical order. So we have this one. This is a dragon sing. Hopefully I said that right. Let's just check this roll out to see what it has to offer. Uh, uh, so it looks like there's just a road and maybe a bush. Let me just get Elliot just so we can see to make sure. I'm not gonna lie though, this looks kind of spooky. Like all I see is the abyss. Like, I don't know y'all, that's, that's kind of scary. <laughs> but anyway, um, we have Elliot down here. Oh, it's not a bush, it was a tree. And then like over here, I just see like a sign and like there's some rubble, a fence, well, two fences. And then we have some logs. I think that's everything for this world. There's not really anything else here. There is like this fence post, I think, but that's pretty much everything for this world. <laughs> okay, so this one is Angela, November 23rd, and it just says land in the world description. So let's just see what this world has to offer. So I was trying to open up the world and my game just crashed. So, uh, I'm going to try again just to make sure, but I don't know if it's going to actually open this time. My game just crashed again, so it might just be something wrong with the world. Maybe don't download this one. So moving on, we have Cape Albacore. Like I said earlier, this world is empty, but apparently there's lots that you can place down for it. So if I can get all the lots and stuff downloaded, I'll definitely do a world overview for this world because I really want to see what it's like. Cape Albacore, I really like that aesthetic anyway. So a world like this is right up my alley, you know? Ooh, wait, this is looking good so far. Hold on, I got to get Elliot. I just want to kind of see the scenery if that makes sense because like there's not much else to look at but i really just want to see like what the scenery looks like because so far it's looking pretty good oh y'all this looks good i like it so far can we just go out oh there's like a lot of lots too you have some dive lots you can like put a hangout spot over here we have space for a club you have like a space over here for like a summer festival or seasonal festival lot wait what's over here oh <laughs> this is a decorative house i don't know why i thought this was gonna actually be like a house or something but y'all this looks looking nice though like hold on I want to come out here. Honestly, y'all, I would love to just like build up this world and just like do a whole lot of builds, like a whole lot of houses. Like this would be amazing to kind of check out. Cape Albacore is eating. Okay, y'all. So I feel like out of all the worlds that we looked at so far, this one might be my favorite. I know we just started, but like <laughs> this one might actually be my favorite, I would say. This is beautiful. I love it. I also like the fall trees. It's kind of giving that fall vibe. Ooh, over here looks kind of spooky. It's kind of giving like a swampy vibe, like a twin brook. Ooh, this is looking kind of nice though. You have this really big beach area over here, so you could put like a bunch of stuff if you want to. I like how this little section is so close to this one. Uh, you know, I love Sims 3 worlds. They're just so nice. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that's pretty much everything for this world. There's not, again, a lot to really look at. But yeah, I'm going to definitely leave this one linked down below, y'all, because this one is looking nice. So next up, we have Courage. The world description says a small base game world. Ooh, so it's base game. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, wait, y'all, this is like an actually completed world. Hold on, let me get a sim. Let me get Elliot real quick. I might have to actually do a world overview for this one, but I just kind of want to look around a little bit just to kind of see like what the general vibe is. Let me know down below. Should I do a world overview for this one? Because like I kind of want to. 
Okay, so it looks like Elliot lives over here in the trailer park. His house is kind of empty, though. It has the kitchen and bathroom, but it doesn't really have anything else inside of it. What about the other trailers? Are they, like, more furnished? This one isn't. What about this one? Okay, this one isn't either. So I'm thinking they're, like, all partially furnished. Okay, what about some of these houses since we're, like, kind of close to them? These look like townhouses. What about this one in the middle? Is this one furnished? Oh, this one actually is. Okay, bet. Let's see. So we have like a workspace, a living room area, or like a den. We have our nice kitchen area, a dining room. I like the green accents. <laughs> There's a bathroom back here as well. And then like upstairs, ooh, we have a couple bedrooms here and here. There's a bathroom in the middle. And then upstairs again, we have like another bathroom. This is like a nursery. We have another bedroom back this way. And then at the very top, it's kind of empty. I do like how the house is like multi-storied and stuff. I think that's a nice touch. I'm pretty sure the other ones are going to be the same. We can just check it out to make sure. Yeah, it's looking like the other house that we just saw. So I think they're just like all duplicates. I kind of want to go like over here to see some of the other areas really quick i mean we could kind of start down here this is the central park this looks like the lot from sunset valley honestly i think this is the lot from sunset valley <laughs> this world does only use the base game so i guess you know it kind of makes sense um, and then like over here this looks like a graveyard there's something over here beside it what is this this is just oh it's, it's the same lot it's just called the graveyard oh these are where the bathrooms are so like what's back this way this looks like a playground section and then like what's this it just says visit lot. It looks like an apartment. Maybe it's supposed to be like a pool. Can we open it up to see? It's kind of giving hotel or motel vibes. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. Cause like you have like your rooms, right? Like your bed, you know, your living room, desk and bathroom. And then you have like a pool behind it. So I'm thinking it's supposed to be like a motel. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Over here, we have like a cafeteria section. So you have your fridge and your coffee machines. There's a TV. It's giving motel vibes or maybe like resort or something like that what is it called it doesn't really have a name but that's the kind of vibe i'm getting from it what about over here this looks like a little cabin area it's listed as a fishing spot though but these are cabins so maybe it's like a campsite let's just open this up to see yeah so you just have like beds and a bathroom and then you have like a place where you can fish and then like back here it's kind of oh you can have your sim stand here to fish oh and then like i guess all the other cabins are kind of the same okay interesting all right i think we'll check out one more little spot and then i think i'm gonna call it what about this area here this is just called the gas station and car fixer so it's supposed to be like a service station and a gas station Ooh, this looks kind of nice though at these like tvs Oh, interesting. <laughs> but like, let's open it up though to see what's on the inside. Maybe this is supposed to be like the front desk, you know, area, but you have a fridge, a bookshelf. There's even like a coffee machine too and a sink. And then like over here, I guess this is like the service station, so to speak. So you have your stereo TV, you have a desk and you have a couple parking spaces. And there's also another fridge here too. But uh, I think that's like everything for this lot, honestly. Hmm. It's a pretty interesting world, y'all. Let me know, should I do a more formal world overview for this world? Because I kind of want to. I might actually just do it anyway, but I kind of want to see what the rest of the world looks like. But we're going to save that for a different day. Let's go ahead and move on to the next world. Okay, so the next world is called Adoza. Adoza is a medium-sized city with over 50 different homes for a big population of residents. If you're into the late night kind of life, then Adoza is the place for you. Although Adoza is far from the beach, the city has enough to keep its residents happy. Let's check out this. I'm guessing it's like a pretty nice sized world then. Oh, it looks like there's a lot to do. So you have like a city area here and this looks like a more residential area. Okay, so I placed Elliot down here at this little house and it looks like all the other houses around here are pretty much the same. I just wanna see what his house looks like though. Ooh, this is like a nice, hold on, this is a starter home? You have all this stuff? That's impressive. Okay, <laughs> well we have a living room there's a bookshelf there's a bed an art easel bathroom and kitchen like hello you was able to fit all this in a starter home is impressive i kind of want to see like what the other houses look like oh they're pretty much all the same i think what about this one beside him we'll just check this one out just to see yeah they look pretty much all the same okay what about the houses over here though let's see what 
maybe one of these look like. I really like the kitchen. The color scheme is really calling to me. <laughs> it's like blue and white. But we have a kitchen, a dining space, there's an art easel, bookshelf, a bed, and then back here you have a bathroom, and then there's even like a door, like a side door, that leads out to the, I guess, side of the yard, and you have a parking space. Really quick, I just want to see what the house beside it looks like. Okay, it's also the same thing. So it looks like a lot of the houses in this world are duplicates. Why don't we check out some of the community lots, though, just to kind of see what they look like. Now, this one is the Bond design lounge i'm pretty sure this is just a pre-made one that comes with late night i don't know if it was changed in any way i guess we'll just check that out to see i'm pretty sure this is how the lot normally looks right you have your bar you have a foosball table in here shuffleboard maybe that might be new and then like over here you have like a place for your bands to hang out there's a little arcade section in here there's a bar bubble blowing machine i think this is how it normally looks i want to say because you have your bathrooms here and then like when you go all the way down there's like another bathroom and then there's like a elevator down here too in a parking space so yeah i think this is just a pre-made lot why don't we check out maybe one of the bars just to kind of see this is literally called the bridgeport sports zone maybe it was changed i don't know maybe that's just like the name of the show okay so there's not much down here in the lobby oh yeah this was not changed in any way i know this lot because i used to play here quite a bit back in the day so yeah this is not new <laughs> but it is a nice bar you know you have you know your cow print chairs and stuff like that your bar arcade cabinets there's a little section back here for bands you have your bathrooms in the back this is like another little section too with like some places to sit shuffleboard there's a bar and foosball table yeah i don't really think this was changed or anything like that but if it was i apologize but i feel like i've seen all of that before so i don't know if anything was changed or not maybe we can check out another area What's this down here in the middle? Can we actually go here? Or is this like decorative? Oh, it's just decorative. There's nothing here. I don't know why I was expecting like butterflies or something. Because that's what Bridgeport has. Um, it has like a butterfly thing. Over here looks like a graveyard though. And it has a couple of graves. I think this world is unpopulated by the way. But okay so you have your graveyard here and then maybe we can check out like one more area maybe this little park over here this is the plum puddle park oh wait this is actually cute though i like the little sitting area out here of course you have your pond you also have some picnic tables and grills over here too there's some more like places to sit i actually like this little park though i think it's kind of cute i would definitely probably add some more stuff to do but i think it's pretty cute okay so this world is called evolving world it's the world of evolution so let's see what this world has to offer. So it looks like the world is empty, but it looks like we have some lots that we can go to. So I'm just going to place down Elliot just so we can see what they look like. Okay, so we're down here at the lot. And I think this would be kind of cool if you built like a couple of houses over here. Maybe like a nice beach house or something like that. But I could imagine like me building a house here. I kind of just want to see how big his lot is. Oh, it's actually a nice size too. So it's like from here to here. You know, it would be kind of cool to like build a little house on a cliff, I think. All right, so Elliot lives here. And then right beside him is like an area for a graveyard okay and then behind it we have an area for a park Ooh, imagine like a little park over here though it can't really be that big but like imagine like a park on a cliff over here we have a beach oh so the whole thing is sand you know what from the map mode it doesn't really look like it but when you go down is actually like sand and stuff down here okay so you have like a beach area and then like over here i mean the weatherstone is trying to spawn over here but <laughs> behind it looks like a park section and then over here we have like this other island back this way is supposed to be a park but you have like a mailbox over here i kind of want to see how many empty lots are actually in this world because i feel like there's more lots on this island oh yeah there's definitely there's like a whole lot of lots here <laughs> okay well i think that's pretty much everything for this world as you can see there's a lot of space in this world to add stuff okay so this one is farness isles first attempt at custom world Ooh, i want to see what this looks like Ooh, this looks nice i like this one so far so it looks like this one is also empty but like, I don't even care. I just want to see what it looks like. Oh, and as y'all can see too, there's a lot of empty space to place some stuff down. Ooh, I'm just going to place Elliot anywhere. And I just kind of want to see what it looks like from a Sims point of view. Ooh, this looks nice. It is a little bit cloudy in my game right now. But this looks nice regardless. I like when custom worlds do stuff like this, when it kind of gives you like a lot designation. So if you wanted to, you could place a dog park over here, a dojo, an art gallery. Like imagine like a bunch of lots over here, y'all. This would be amazing. 
this is nice there's a little beachy area over here oh maybe it's supposed to be like a resort i yeah i think that's supposed to be a resort y'all <laughs> yeah definitely a resort because you have like the little desk out there over here looks like a space for a scrapyard and i kind of like this one being over here by these rocks and stuff Ooh, that's a nice bridge yo i'm liking this world you even have like this little island in the middle and it has like a fishing spot down here so you can fish if you want to. There's actually fish here. This is noise. And then like over here on the other side, we have the Weatherstone. <laughs> I mean, I guess we can check the Weatherstone out. Yeah, it's just kind of vibing. It's trying to like spawn, but you have the Weatherstone. That's where it is in my game. And then like back this way, we have like another beach. There's a dive spot over here as well. Ooh, there's even like a rainbow. See, look, look at that rainbow, y'all. <laughs> and then like back here, we have a lot more space, y'all. I really like custom worlds because they just have so much cool stuff about them, you know? Yo, there's two weather stones in this world? Hold on. I never knew that two of them can spawn in one world. Maybe if the world is big enough, you can have two of them. Not unless this one was already here. Huh. Did y'all know that? I didn't know you could have more than one weather stone. So we have, look at the rainbow. So you have like one over here and there's also like another one here. That's pretty interesting, y'all. I never knew that you could have two in one world. I've never seen that before. <laughs> so this is Green Hills and this is the one that I was a little bit confused by. I'm pretty sure that the thumbnail is from Ella Charms fixed Sunlit Tides version. So I don't know what this world is or what it might have to offer. We're just gonna see what it is, y'all. I don't know. Okay, so it's not Sunlit Tides which is good. I'm just gonna place down Elliot just to see because there's even, there's like an Eiffel Tower in the middle. There's like a couple bodies of water. That's actually really cute. I like the scenery though. Ooh, that's nice. Actually, can I make it like a little bit brighter? Ooh, this is beautiful. I like the scenery. That's cute. So there's like a fishing spot beside Elliot, right? Again, the Eiffel Tower is just vibing over here in the corner. When you go over this way, we have a bridge. And honestly, y'all, can I just like live here? I would love to live amongst all the fall trees. The scenery is very beautiful. I really like this. And then like over here, this is like a section for a park or something. So uh, I guess we'll zoom down just to kind of see. So I guess you could place like a nice little park over here. Oh, and it'd be like right by the water. Oh, that would be nice. Think about the screenshots, y'all. That would be like beautiful. So as y'all can see, the world is empty. But like, look at all the scenery, y'all. With all the trees and stuff. Oof. I would love to build something here. <laughs> Like, literally, y'all, if I didn't have, like, all these build series going on right now, I would literally start another one. Like, literally just me building up this world. <sighs> I don't know. I might have to do something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, um, let's go back to this part of the world because we haven't really seen anything over here. So, this is actually kind of green. There's another lighthouse over here, too. So, we have two. We have this one that's black and white. And then there's also, like, the red and white one that's somewhere over here on the other side of the world it's like over here too so there's like two different lighthouses i don't think i've ever seen that in a custom world either where there's like two lighthouses but yeah i think that might just be like everything for this world y'all literally the scenery is a 10 out of 10 i like how the world has this little green section over here like this just looks amazing oh and it has like sand and stuff over here too it's so diverse literally i love this world i think this is supposed to be like a farming area or maybe like a rural area it's so diverse i really like this one by the way too these barns are just decorative you can't actually go inside of them or anything like that but like imagine like a little farming area back here with like some farmland and some tractors and stuff that would be amazing all right y'all let's go ahead and keep moving on because we still got a couple more worlds to check out so the next world is called lily of the valley x it says high wind mountains so Maybe it's a mountain world? Okay, so it looks like this world is also empty. Okay, so the first thing that I'm noticing is this bridge area over here. So it looks like there's a bunch of rocks and stuff. And then like over here, we have like a little waterfall. Ooh, can I press play for a second so I can kind of see? Looks like the water is leaking out the mountain, but it is like a waterfall technically. And then like over here, we have like some rocks and stuff. Some of them are kind of floating, but you have some rocks. I kind of want to zoom out for a little bit just to kind of see. So it looks like you have some empty lots over here where you can place some stuff down. And it's kind of like on a hill. So it kind of like slopes down. Hmm, That's going to be kind of interesting to try to play. I wonder how that would actually look if you try to like build something there. Over here, looks like we have a beach section. I think it's just kind of empty from here on out i'm not really seeing any houses or anything like that why don't i try to go into edit town mode just to see how many additional lots we have oh there's like a whole bunch of lots you have like a whole bunch over here there's some over here as well i placed elliot down here by the way <laughs> and then what about if we go back this way i'm not really seeing any more lots this way there are a couple over here and over here though so it is a big enough world so you could add more stuff if you wanted to okay so this world is called lunaria and i can't really read what the world description says but i'm just gonna check it out 
regardless. Oh, this one looks nice. I'm going to have to do a world overview for this one. I already know it, but yo, this looks nice. Okay. So I placed Elliot down in this little house. It kind of reminds me of like one that you would see in Bridgeport in a way, but he lives over here in this little mint house. Inside of it, we have our living room, kitchen, bathroom, big garage space. We have, you know, our TV. And then upstairs, we just have a bed and a dresser and stuff. His house pretty much has everything you need to get started. Oh, wait, what about this pink house? This one looks like a sims 2 house kind of Ooh, can i check this one out real quick y'all i just want to see i love the floor i gotta start using this floor that floor is beautiful so that's like a little den area with rocking chairs you have a little workspace over here in the corner going back over here we have a kitchen Ooh, I never thought to use these on tiles before. That's pretty interesting, though. I don't know if I can say it's my favorite, but it's pretty interesting for the kitchen. There's a bathroom down here. Upstairs, we have, like, a living room. So you have, like, your TV, game consoles, and stuff like that. Over here is, like, a sitting area with a chess table. And then when you go back over here, ooh, we have a bedroom with the ensuite bathroom. The bed sheet is not my favorite. There's a lot of patterns going on, but it's pretty cute. <laughs> and then when you go upstairs, there's pretty much nothing else up here, though. But you do have another balcony. And then what about that backyard, dude? I want to see back here. Ooh, so there's a pool, some lounge chairs, grill. You have a picnic table, some places to sit. There's even, like, a fridge over here, too. You know, these things live in lavish. Like, I'm just telling you. <laughs> okay, why don't we just check out, like, maybe a couple of lots just to see. What about this one? This one is, like, a cafe. I just want to see what this one looks like. Yo, this lot looks so nice. I like it. Can we open this up? Ooh, let's see. So down below, we have like a little sectional with a couple palm trees. There's your bathrooms on the left and the right. Whoa. It kind of reminds me of like Katy Perry sweet treats with the wallpaper. So over here, we have like that little like sweet treat kind of register from university where you can get like food and stuff. You have a general store register. You have a fridge. There's places to sit over here. You even have like a little balcony with some chess tables outside. Going over this way, we have a stereo. There's a, a karaoke machine. Ooh, there's even like a little balcony over here with a telescope and some chairs and stuff. Oh, y'all, this is nice. What about upstairs? Up here, we have a bar, another general store register, a fridge, a buffet table. You can come and sit down if you want to and watch TV. There's some more bathrooms back here. Y'all, this is nice. There's even like umbrella tables up here too. Yo, I like this lot. And that's literally just a cafe. <gasps> Wait, what about the beach? Hold on, child. We got to check this beach out real quick. <gasps> Ooh, this is nice. Oh, I like this a lot. Okay, well, wait, I don't even know where to start. Okay, maybe we'll just start down here. <laughs> I'm getting hyped. I see a couple picnic tables. There's a grill. There's a couple vending machines. We have like this lifeguard like watchtower. There's like actually two lifeguard chairs, by the way. Over here, we have a couple of these lounge chairs. Of course, we are at the beach. So you have your, of course, your beach. <laughs> and then like over here, we have a shuffleboard, juice pong table. We have some workout equipment. A couple of boats are out here as well. Foosball table. Ooh, what about this? This lot so down below you just have a couple of all-in-one bathrooms but up here we have like another sweet treat register there's a fridge snow cone machine this is noise just like places to sit and stuff i have literally got to do a world overview for this world i kind of don't want to look at a whole lot of lots because i want the rest of it to kind of be a surprise but i think we'll look at like two more lots and then we'll call it why don't we maybe look at this dog park really quick and then maybe we'll check out this the cake pleasure dome but i know for a fact y'all this world is on the list of worlds to check out oh this lot is cute oh this lot is cute too y'all you have your pet houses there's like the little ball out here food bowls toy box and stuff like that i like these little fountains and then like over here we have this building let's open it up Ooh, so down below i guess is like for your dogs and stuff they can sleep and play and eat and stuff like that down here but when you go upstairs though you have like something for your human sims there's even like a food synthesizer if you didn't know if you place one of these on a community lot you'll get like a waiter or waitress sim that will come to serve your sims so like you could treat this lot as a restaurant if you wanted to which is really nice in my opinion. There's also a fridge for quick meals. You have a snow cone machine, another little sweet treat register as I call it. You even have your all-in-one bathrooms over here. Y'all, this world eats. It really ate. Even though it's cloudy right now in my game, it still ate. <laughs> okay, let's check out this other one though. This is the Cake Pleasure Dome. Let's just see what this is. Isn't this like one of those pre-made lots that comes if you have Katy Perry sweet treats? I think it is because I'm pretty sure I have this in my bin somewhere. I still think it's a cool lot though because you have like this little cake 
section over here with the candles on top of it. Can we just like open up the lot just to see though? So inside of here, you have like your arcade cabinets, you have your bathroom, you have like a little sitting area back this way. Going over here, we have a couple of bars. Yeah, I think this is like their pre-made one. I don't know if it was changed in any way or not, but I feel like I've definitely seen this one before. You have like some more places to sit over here. And then outside you have like a little deck space where you can come and sit. So yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen this one before as well. Okay, y'all, I really like this world. I don't know, y'all. This one might be my new favorite. I don't know. <laughs> But I know for a fact, I'm going to look at this one for a world overview one day. So if you're not already, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss out on it. Okay, so this world is called Minsinka. Hopefully I pronounced that right. This desert created by one of the so many Alto family members was an attempt to recreate a famous El Samhara. Sadly, things didn't go as planned and now the place is deserted. Could you possibly help this place? Whoa, let's see what this is then. Okay, so we're in the world. I think this one is also pretty empty, but I just just want to see what it looks like from a sims point of view okay so it looks like all this area over here is just inaccessible you can't really go here or anything like that over here it looks like we have a lot of palm trees Ooh, this looks kind of cute though again it's kind of cloudy in my game but you have like your palm trees and you even have like a nice sized body of water over here so you could definitely like you know have fun and stuff like that this is supposed to be a beach by the way over here it looks like you have space for apartment complexes so you have like a whole lot you could add over here. Over here is also empty, but I see like some outlines for some lots. So I just want to go into edit town just to kind of see really quick. Yeah, so you have like some empty space for some more lots and stuff like that. But I think that might just be everything for this world. I would actually like to see this one kind of filled up too. Oh, there's even like more lots over here too. Okay, look, there's more. <laughs> but yeah, I would love to see this world be filled up more with like actual lots and stuff like that. I think it'd be kind of interesting. Okay, so the next world is just called me and it just says baby in the world description so i don't know what that means let's just open it up to see what it is okay so this is me and as y'all can see it is empty there's not really anything here i mean there is a bridge and then i also see like some trees over here but as y'all can see it's pretty empty i'll go into edit town mode just so we can see how many lots there are okay so it looks like all the lots are over here but i'm pretty sure if you wanted to you could just like add more if you wanted so like you do have a lot of space for that kind of thing all right so this one is called misty seasoning jazora i don't know if i pronounced that right y'all but let's just see what this world has to offer Ooh, this one looks kind of nice too this one is also kind of empty well there are some stuff back here and i guess we could check that out but it's looking like it's mainly empty but i do like the way it looks so why don't we move Elliot in just to kind of see? Okay, so I placed Elliot down here on an empty lot. And right across from him, we have a park section. I only really see a big fountain and that's pretty much it. Oh, there's also like another park over here too. Ooh, so you could place like some stuff down here if you want it. Oh, you know what? And you could place a dog park here, a library over here, a dojo back this way, an art gallery over here. You have a nice big beach area back this way. So you could definitely add a lot of stuff if you want it. And then what about over here? So we have like a lake area. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Let's just see really quick. Oh, it's super foggy, <laughs> but like it looks like a little lake area. So I guess you could like, you know, come out here to swim. You can fish if you want to skip stones and stuff like that. Do y'all ever have y'all sims skip stones? Because I never do it. I kind of forget that you can do it. There is an empty lot right here. So you could build a house if you wanted to and kind of put it right over here. I really want to see what's back here though, because I don't know. Oh, you can't actually go there inaccessible oh you can't go this way so these are just like decorative well you do have a space back here for a graveyard again y'all kind of spooky <laughs> oh you know what i thought this was water but it's terrain paint i literally thought that was water y'all <laughs> but yeah i think that's pretty much everything for this world though so this is mtp and it says welcome to monte peller not the real one Okay, so well, let's just see what it is then. Okay, so it looks like this world is also kind of empty. I'll just place Elliot down just so we can see. I had to look it up though, but apparently Monte Peller is a city in France. Oh, it's one of those situations where you can't place a sim down. So it looks like all of the lots are expensive. You're going to have to turn on free real estate on and then place a sim. I'm just going to place a random sim for a second. Uh, I don't even know if this world has any lots that you can move to. Maybe this is just like one of those work in progress kind of worlds because I still can't place any sims down. What if I were to just like place a lot for a second and then I place a sim down? No, I still can't do that. Okay, well, I don't know, but 
As y'all can see, the world is pretty empty though. Okay, so next up we have My Small World and the world description says Small River World. So let's just check this out. Oh, this is cute. It is literally a small river world, but this is really cute though. Okay, so for whatever reason, I can't place a sim down. I think it's because this world doesn't have any lots maybe. Why don't I try to just place a lot down? So for whatever reason, I can't place my sim down and I don't know why. I don't think it's the world. I think it's just my Sims 3 game. But as y'all can see, there's quite a bit of space Base for your sims and stuff like that but yeah i'll leave this one link down below if y'all want to check it out okay so the next world is just called my world and the world description says my first world so let's just check it out to see okay so this world is also empty from what i see but i love the trees y'all y'all know i love these trees i'm gonna get elliot just so we can get a better look at it okay it's saying that it's too expensive i'm just gonna try to put free real estate on and see if we can live somewhere okay so for whatever reason it's still not letting me place elliot down anywhere which is kind of unfortunate Ugh, i hate that but either way just from what i can see though it looks like the world is very well made i would love to like see this world also built up and honestly i would love to build like some lots right here in the middle i think that would be so cool <laughs> all right y'all i guess that's pretty much everything for this world let's just move on to the next one okay so next up we have northern beaches beach land just add houses so i'm assuming this one is also going to be empty okay so we're down here at the world i placed elliot down over here there are no houses but they are some community lots so why don't we check some of them out i guess we'll start here this is the fishing club tight lines okay let's see what this is though oh it's like a little fishing spot oh this is nice wait i like the little pond out here i even like the little waterfall that's coming out that's really nice Ooh, let's open up the lot to see what's on the inside though so inside of here you have your bar there's a jukebox you have places to sit there's your bathrooms there aren't any lights inside of here i don't think but it is kind of nice on the inside that's kind of nice though over here we have a little playground section oh we have some playhouses a treehouse some spring rides slide and swing set Ooh, there's even like this <gasps> i never thought to do this before i gotta do something like this y'all this is kind of cool it's like a little like playhouse kind of oh that's nice i never even thought to do anything like that there's even like a little oven down here too but y'all that's cool like a custom play area so what about over here over here looks like a couple of bathrooms but there's no toilets so you might want to put some toilets inside of there okay what about if i just keep going over this way okay so this lot is called the park but i think it's supposed to be like a mall or something like down below we have like some food stands there are some tables out here i just want to open this up just to kind of see what this looks like real quick yeah it's literally given like a mall you have like places to sit in the middle there's a pool in the middle going over this way we have like a clothing store i'm assuming there's a nectary register and a general store register we also have like a relics register a nectary register and another relics register so there's like a lot of registers here over here we have like a little pool area there's also a bar we have a couple of food registers and a fridge so it looks like a food court Ooh, this looks like a furniture store or like a lamp store we have nectary relics in book register so i guess it's like a bookstore as well this is kind of cool over here's like an arcade section Ooh, okay what about if i go upstairs again so this looks like a club of some sort okay we have a food register we have a bar some dance floors down here a bubble blowing machine and then over here looks like a library because we have bookshelves and tables and stuff and then at the very top we just have some bathrooms and then over here is just like some more bathrooms okay and then oh there's even more so at the very top we have i'm guessing like a movie theater and over here looks like a concert hall you have like a lot of places to sit and there's like a lot of instruments Ooh, that's kind of cool though okay so this world has some cool things maybe we'll just check out one more lot just to kind of see why don't we check out this this is the luminous cafe Ooh, okay let's open up this one Ooh, this is nice i like the columns so you have like your sweet treat register and honestly i think that might be it i don't know if i'm missing any store content or something but okay i think that's pretty much it other than like the bathrooms in the back you know what let's just check out one more lot i think maybe the one across the street this is the sunset sports field Ooh, this is cute dude hold on what's inside of here so it looks like it could be a gym or something like that you have your treadmills there's places to sit you have some bookshelves you have a stereo back this way we have like a deck space there's art easels and tables out here this is fancy and then over here you have like your sports fields so we have like a couple of soccer fields over here this is like a tennis court okay we have a nice pool section back here 
And then going over this way, we have like another playground section. And then like over here, we have just like a place to sit down and chill. And then like over here, we have like another area where you can come and sit down. This is nice though, y'all. Like, hold on, this world is kind of nice. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? Let's just keep moving on though, because I don't want to get too carried away, but this world has some nice lots. Okay, so this world is just called Null. But this is the one that has like the starfish or the star. Okay, so this was the world that was shaped like a star, but I don't think I really see a star anywhere. Oh no, it's right here. Oh, I see it. Okay, let me just try to place down Elliot just so we can see how it looks from a Sims point of view. Oh, you know what? I kind of like how the road is pink. That's kind of nice. <laughs> but from a Sims point of view, there's really, you know, not much to really look at. But I do see a couple of lots. So we have a beach lot down this way. So you could definitely have your Sims come to the beach and hang out. I like the color of the sand. I think that's like a nice touch. And honestly, I'm kind of want to see what this is, though. I don't think you can actually come here or anything like that, but it's kind of shaped like a star. And I do like that though. <laughs> and then of course over here though, you have like a lot for a park of some sort. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could like place down houses if you wanted to. There's even like a little mini park section over this way with the weather zone. And then like, there's another one, I think right here as well. You know what? Let's go into edit town mode just to see how many additional lots there are. Oh, there's a whole lot y'all. You can add so many lots in this world. Okay, so this next world is just called Paris Unfinished. Explore this beautiful but empty world I hope you like building lots since EA won't let me continue to edit in game with the new app. Oh yeah, the EA app did break for a lot of people. Okay y'all, so we're down here at this world. As you can see, it is unfinished, but don't blame the creator, blame the EA app because it did break for a lot of people. I think it might work now, but I've also heard that people say it's still broken, so I don't really know. Y'all have to let me know. But let's just check out some of the lots or whatever we can check out. I guess we'll just look at real quick. Okay, so I placed Elliot down. As y'all can see, we do have the Eiffel Tower over here just vibing. <laughs> There's a couple of these university lots, but I think these are all just rabbit holes from what I remember. I don't think you can actually go inside of any of them, unfortunately. Back this way, we have like some lots for a park. Let's just see what these look like. Yeah, so these are kind of empty as well. What about back this way? This is the public bathroom and it's by a couple of houses, I think. So we have like our public bathroom. Let's just try to open it up. So yeah, as you can see, you just have your bathrooms. There's a couple of vending machines. Why don't we try to check out one of the houses since we're so close to one? So down below, we have a living room. There's a fireplace. You have your dining table. There's a kitchen, a bathroom. You have a bedroom here with a fireplace and a crib and also a toy box. And then back here, you have another bedroom. And then there's some like empty space here. So I guess you could add some more stuff if you wanted to. And then upstairs, it's... Oh, it's just a one story house. Okay. So it's really nothing upstairs. I guess we could just check out another house since we're so close to it. So inside of here, you have a bed, you have a bathroom. It's a pretty empty hallway. You have two more bedrooms. You have a kitchen, a living room, and then over here, it's kind of empty, but you have a bathroom over here too. Okay. And then maybe we could just check out this little area really quick just to see what's out here. It looks like we have a pretty nice size courtyard area. There is an obelisk. There's also a mausoleum over here as well. I see a pretty big open space with a fountain and then you have a couple of buildings around it. I guess we could just check them all out. Ooh, this looks fancy. It looks like you could put some stuff down here on display if you wanted to. It's kind of giving like museum vibes, you know? Ooh, it's really fancy though. What about if we go upstairs? Ooh, let's see. So up here is really fancy too. I guess you could put like some exhibits and stuff. Maybe if I bring the walls up, there'll be something on the walls. There's pretty empty, but you know, you could definitely put art and stuff up if you wanted to. Over here is pretty empty as well. And I think that's everything for like this building. What about this one back here? I just want to see this. So this one is empty. And what about the one that's across from it? Is this one also empty? Uh, this one is kind of like the one that we just saw where it has some stuff, but it's not really furnished all the way. What about the one over here across from it? This one is kind of the same. Okay, so they're not really like furnished or anything like that. And then the one in the corner over here, is this one also empty? Yeah, that's also empty as well. Okay, well, I really like this world. Even though it's not finished, I still like it though. Like it has a lot of potential. Like look at all this stuff, y'all. Hopefully there's a way to get this world to be finished because I really want to see the end result. Okay, so the next world is called Ponce Verts. It says Ives First Work Welcome. Ooh, this is kind of cute. It's like a small island world. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to place down Latricia. I'm going to give Elliot a little bit of a break. Yo, this world is cute, dude. I like it, even though it's cloudy in my game. <laughs> but this is kind of cute, though. It's like a little section out 
out here you could place some houses down or some lots oh i like these little trees and it kind of leads to like a little beach section this is cute let's see so this is a beach you could put a graveyard over here if you wanted to a store right here another store some more lots down this way this would be kind of nice if you could like fill it up with some stuff. So I'm going to definitely leave this one linked down below as well. But I think this is kind of cute. This next world is the Realm of Shadows. Realm of Shadows full of genies, werewolves, witches, vampires, and many more. Okay, so we're in the world and it kind of reminds me of Riverview in a way, especially like this little area. But as y'all can see, it's mainly empty. But I kind of just want to see, I guess, what's actually here. So there is this house across from Elliot. I think I've seen this house before. Is this like a pre-made house, y'all? I feel like I've seen this one before somewhere. Okay, so inside of this house, we have our den space. There's a bathroom. We have a dining room and kitchen. Upstairs, we have a bedroom, a bathroom. So it's just like a one bedroom house. And then it also has like a garage with the washer and dryer. There is this lot over here. This is the shadow wedding venue. Oh, this is pretty nice. So you have like a little wedding venue. You have some parking spaces out here. You have like a little area where your sims can get married. I feel like I'm missing some store content or something. There's like a little music player down here. Up here, you have your wedding arch. Ooh, maybe this is supposed to be like the set from the Sims 3 store that I just don't have right now. Oh, so you have your bathroom in here with your all-in-one bathrooms and sinks and stuff. And then over here, we have like the reception hall. You have like your little like angel ice sculpture. That's a buffet table in here, a little place to watch TV. Ooh, and back here looks like a daycare or something. I guess you could like put the babies here. There's like high chairs and play pins and changing tables. And then over here, we have like another bathroom as well. This lot is kind of nice though. It has pretty much everything that you will need, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> okay what if we just check out maybe like one more lot just to kind of see so over here this is just called the pet lot okay so we're down here at the pet lot i see a little pond in the middle and then we also have like these rooms or houses i don't know what's on the inside of them oh they're like bathrooms kind of because they have litter boxes what about this one? This one is kind of empty, so I guess you could put something in here. There's some hay. There's like pet balls they can play with. We have some stables. Ooh, these are like the nice stables too. I don't think I've ever had a sim use those before. Over here, we have like the rooms where they can sleep and stuff. This is kind of cool. And then over here, you have like the hitching post for your horses. So I guess it's literally just a pet lot. Okay, well, I think that's like everything for this world. As y'all can see, it's a little bit on the bigger side, but there's a lot of empty space and there's also like some lots that you can actually go to. So I guess you can like add more to the world if you need to. So the next world is called River North. It says in the early 1500s, Mayor Jasper Rivera discovered a flat island split almost completely down the middle with a valley. It was completely isolated and showed no signs of life until Mr. Rivera and his crew turned it into a wonderful town of River North. Oh, with times constantly changing and adapting to newer times, will River North keep the old charm of its town or will it be gentrified like the rest of the world to contort to everyone's easier way of living? Ooh, let's see what this one looks like. Ooh, wait, y'all, this one looks kind of nice. Let me get Elliot really quick. Ooh, this world does kind of give off an old town charm, especially with like all the lots and buildings so close together. It's definitely giving off that vibe. I kind of want to start at Elliot's house though, just to kind of see what it looks like. Wait, this one is actually cute. I like it. It looks kind of old fashioned too. Ooh, so down here we have a kitchen, a living room, a little dining space. And then upstairs, we have a bedroom with a computer desk. It has an ensuite bathroom and a dresser. Yo, this house is so cute, though. Like, I really like his little house. I did have to turn on a free real estate, by the way, because he couldn't afford to live in any of the houses. So, yeah, this world doesn't have any, like, one sim starter homes, if that makes sense. But, yo, I love the little, like, town area. It looks so cute. I don't know if this world has any community lots outside of this beach, River Beach, and this graveyard, which is the graveyard empty? I don't think it is. No, there's the monster and then you have like places to sit there's even like trash in the water ayo <laughs> oh no we gotta clean up the beach of course like i said earlier you do have this beach down here though so it looks like there's some stuff at the beach oh is that like a wedding arch oh so you have like a wedding arch there's some grills and picnic tables out here your parking space there's some lounge chairs out here there's a fire pit so there's a like, quite a lot of stuff out here you even have like bathrooms in the corner this way okay i guess like the majority of the world is just like houses and stuff like that which i kind of want to check out maybe this house and maybe like another one before we leave because i just want to see what they look like like this one is so nice from the outside so it looks like this house you enter in on the second floor because there's nothing down below oh they use the tv from generations that's kind of nice but you have a living room there's a computer desk a kitchen a bedroom is in this corner 
corner and then you have your bathroom and then there's nothing else above it okay why don't we check out maybe like one more house y'all because like mm, these houses are kind of cool let's check out this lot is this a house this is listed as a house but i think it's kind of empty there's really nothing down below maybe we could just check out one more and then we'll go maybe like this little house right here this one looks kind of modern let's open up this one so down below we have a kitchen we have a living room there's a washer and dryer, a bookshelf, and then upstairs we have our bedroom. It looks so nice in here. You have a bedroom, a bathroom up here, a little workspace, there's an art easel, and then you have like a little balcony you can come out on. Okay, well I think that's everything for this house. Okay, so next up we have St. Quentin. I think I pronounced that right. All right, so it looks like this world is pretty empty. There's not really a lot going on, I don't think. I'm just going to place down a random sim just so we can look at it really quick okay i do like the scenery though but as i said earlier it is pretty empty though but you do at least have some space to add lots and stuff let me just go to edit town just so we can see real quick so most of the lots are over here but i'm pretty sure if you wanted to you could definitely add more like over here somewhere so you do have space for it okay so the next world is called steambrook so let's check this out okay y'all so this literally just looks like twin broke from the ambitions expansion pack again i don't know if anything is going to be changed or edited or anything like that but i'm just gonna check out maybe like a couple lots just to kind of see literally i'm just gonna place elliot down on an empty lot okay so i placed elliot down on an empty lot i'm just gonna do like a really look, quick look through just to kind of see if anything was changed i mean i don't know if it was or not y'all it's literally called twin brook town center i just want to see you know what it looks like it's looking kind of like the normal one honestly what about some of the community lots so we have like the drea salon and tattoo can we just check this out really quick to see if this was changed in any way i don't think it was because i've played in this world for my leprosy on twitch and i'm pretty sure nothing was really changed down here like i think this is just how it normally looks what about the red rendezvous I kind of want to check out that lot just to see. This one is like over here. Can we just like open this up just to see if anything was changed? Nope, this is how it normally looks in Twinbrook. So yeah, maybe this is just Twinbrook with a different name. I don't know, y'all. Let me know what you think down below. I don't really know what any of the differences are between Steambrook and Twinbrook. So if you know, let me know down below. But I'll leave this one linked down below just in case. Okay, so the next world is called the District Republics. In a world where there are species, there are districts. Okay, so we're down in the world and I'm guessing maybe over here is like a district. Are there any other districts? I don't think so i think maybe the rest is just kind of empty i guess we'll just check out the district that we have maybe there will be more in the future or something like that uh, this world literally just came out today so there's no telling but let's just try to place down elliot so we can kind of see i'm just going to place him down here at one of these houses why don't we check out elliot's house first Ooh, this looks kind of spooky looking <laughs> it kind of reminds me of that world that i looked at the other day whoa let's see so there's not a lot going on in here you just have a kitchen and a place to sit and there's also some sand in the corner and an axe so you do have that but i think that's like everything for this house and then what about like over here though so this is just called lot i guess but there's a dumpster there's a little playground section out here too so in here we just have an office space and a skeleton okay and a dry erase board and then like over here oh we have like a elevator is there anything above this lot no so there's got to be something down below Ooh, this is kind of cool so down here we have like a kitchen or cafeteria type of section we have the spinning object from showtime there is a weight machine you have some treadmills down here there's a bathroom this way washer and dryer it's like a bunker of some sort you have like some bedrooms this looks like a workshop area this looks kind of cool there's some computer desk in here oh a little sciencey machine this is nice. I like it down here. Over here, we have like a bot machine as well and a science machine. Yo, what's going on down here? There's even like a little sparring section, I guess. Or maybe it's like a little training section. There's even like a little chemistry table. Like, whoa, what's going on down here, y'all? What are going on with these Sims? <laughs> okay, and then there's also like a couple other houses. Let's just look at this one really quick. Okay, that one is pretty much empty. What about the one beside it? Is this one empty? Yep, this one is also empty. Okay, and I think the only other thing in this world are like these other lots over here so like what's back this way so over here we have like a hunted house and then we have like a a lot with some dumpsters and like some places to sit and stuff i guess it's like a hangout spot you have like a stage there's a grill and then over here we have this lot so let's open up this oh it's like a little cafe okay so you have like a little cafe or whatever you have like places to sit there's a tv your bathrooms and then of course you have a graveyard over here with the house 
I think this house is also empty. Yep, it definitely is empty. Okay. And I think the only other thing is like a police department over here. And you can't really go inside of this though, but there's a police department. And then there's like an area where the Weatherstone is spawning. And then I think there was like some apartment lots. Oh, I think this is just like decorative. I don't think you can actually go inside of them. Oh, wait, there's actually something back here that we didn't even see. Oh, wait, what's this? It's, it looks like a construction site. Okay, so you have like a piano, a pool table. There's bathrooms in here. It's looking like a supernatural hangout. You have a bar. Yeah, it's kind of giving like supernatural hangout vibes. Okay, there's even some skeletons back here too. All right, well, I think that's everything for the world though. I still think this one is my favorite lot. <laughs> okay, so this world is just called the Land of Oz. Welcome to the Land of Oz. Oz. Ooh, this looks kind of nice. Oh, y'all. I might have to do a world overview for this world too. Oh, it's like Emerald City. You hold on. Let me place down Elliot. Can we live in Emerald City? Oh, we can. Oh, you know what? Let me just turn on free real estate so we can actually afford to live here. Oh, this looks so cool. It's literally like Emerald City. <laughs> okay, like down in the middle, we have a fountain, some places to sit. I kind of want to check out Elliot's house first just to kind of see what's here, you know? Can I just like scroll all the way down? Okay, so down here, we have a kitchen area with a fridge. We have like some places to sit in these rooms. Maybe this is like the little like lobby area. Can we just go up the elevator just to see how you live? Ooh, so I guess this is the top. So we have a juice pong table. There's like a little office -y space. We have a bar, some tables, some art easels. There's a chess table in here too. Is there anything above it? So above this, we have like a gym bathrooms is there anything else above it oh okay so i guess like the bedroom is at the very very top okay so you have a room here this is a bathroom going over this way we have a kitchen area over here we have our kitchen and then we have like a den space or like a living room area over here okay is there anything else like above this or not well there is a grill but that's pretty much it for this house now i kind of want to see like the main section of it like i kind of want to see what this looks like let's just zoom all the way down okay so all the way at the bottom we have like city hall okay but like what about here so you have like a food register so you can eat here if you want to you have your bathrooms over here there's a cotton candy machine and a couple of harvest stands and there's also like a hot air balloon too but i think like that's everything for this lot okay why don't we just check out maybe this one next just to kind of see what's here okay so inside of here we have a den space a dining space Ooh, a nice fancy staircase we have a kitchen back here we have like a little office -y space with a bathroom attached to it Ooh, this is like the throne room this is nice there's even like a little broadcasting station back there and then when you go upstairs we have a couple of bedrooms and like some sitting areas there's a bathroom in the middle and then back here i don't really see anything and then when you go upstairs again though you have a chess table over here in this room you have like two walk-in closets i'm assuming and then you just have like a bedroom in the middle and I think that's like everything for this house. All right, y'all, I still think I'm gonna maybe do a world overview for this world. So I don't really wanna look at any of the other lots though, even though I'm really tempted to. Okay, maybe this one and then we'll call it. <laughs> yeah, see, that's a fishing spot. Okay, yeah, like I said, y'all, I'm gonna have to look at the other lots cause uh, I need to see what the rest looks like. But let's just go ahead and keep moving on though. Okay, so the next world is called Tuscaloosa. It's a college town in the South. Okay, so it looks like this world is mainly empty. I don't know if these are like apartment lots or not. I'm just gonna see if I can place a sim down just to test it out to see. Nope, I cannot place a sim down. Okay, well, that's pretty much everything for this world anyway. Let's just move on to the next one. <laughs> okay, so this next world is called Valentina. It's a temperate island. Okay, so it's not lying, it is an island. <laughs> I think the thumbnail is hilarious. Let me just like place a sim down really quick just so we can kind of see. All right, so we're down here in the world and you know, as you probably already can tell, the world is pretty empty, but you do have like lots and stuff where you can place some things down. If I go to the map mode, oh, it doesn't really have any like lot designations, but if you want to see how many empty lots there are, I will show you, as you can see, there's a lot of empty lots. So you could definitely add a whole lot of stuff if you want to. Oh, you can even add something down here at the lighthouse, technically. It's kind of like a really small lot though, but if you want it to, could build a little house or something. There you go, that'll work. <laughs> okay, well, let's go ahead and move on to the next world, y'all. Okay, so this world is called Varta's Villa. All the things, all the places. That's what it says in the world description. Yo, look at all the fall trees and the fall colors. Honestly, though, I think it's pretty empty. It's a pretty big world, as you can see, but I think it's all pretty empty, though. Listen, y'all already know. <laughs> I gotta get a sim. I need to see what it looks like from the ground level. Oh, I can't place any sims down. I guess this world doesn't really have any lots, so you're gonna have to probably place your own down. 
but okay well i still think it's beautiful like look at all the trees though okay let's move on to the next world so the next and last world that we're going to be looking at is called vulcan island mk2 there were two roads almost parallel to each other i have taken one out and put a new junction in. I have put the alarm bell in the fire station, which fixes the career, and also made a 50 by 40 lot, which might be useful. I apologize for inadequate testing of this world. Okay, so let's just check out the world then. So I guess this was like an edited world from the original creator. Oh, this world looks nice too. I'm gonna probably have to put this one on the list of worlds to check out. Oh my goodness, y'all, not it starting to rain. Why did it have to rain at a time like this? Like, I just wanna see the world. <laughs> Maybe we could just start back here for a second. So we have the Posh Park in the Heidi Hole Pond. Why don't we check out the Posh Park? Oh, is this like a pre-mate one? Because we've seen this lot in one of the other worlds. So maybe it's like a pre-mate lot or something like that. But we've already seen that one. What about this lot back here? So this one has like a pretty big pond. And it also has a couple of harvestables like death flower, bell pepper, watermelon. There's a grill and some picnic tables out here. And life fruit, which is also very useful. And then like back this way, we have like some more lots. So I think some of these are probably just pre-made because like this is the central part from the base game, I'm assuming. Yeah, I think it's just like the one from the base game over here. I think this is a pre-made lot as well. I think this is just like one of the pre-made dumpsters that come with Twinbrook or something like that. Back here, we have a graveyard, which I think this is just the one from Sunset Valley, I want to say. What about this back here? This is the Green Dragon Pub. Let's just open this up to see. Oh, you know what it is, y'all? It's literally the red rendezvous from twin broke it just has a different name and then like down below you just have your bathrooms but yeah i've definitely seen this lot before what about some of the houses we can maybe check out like maybe four of them let's check out maybe this one first since we're kind of close to it let's open up this one so you have a pretty big garage space you have your living room there's a tv you might want to move the tv a little bit closer to the couches though but you have a living room, there's like kids toys in a crib, a workspace. Going over this way, we have a pretty big kitchen. Upstairs, we have one, two, three, four bedrooms. There's two bathrooms in the hallway. And then when you go upstairs, there's a bathroom here. And then you have like a recreational, maybe skill building room or something like that. Why don't we check out this house that's right behind it? Let's open up this one really quick. So down below, we have a living room, a kitchen. There's some bookshelves. We have a dining room and a bar. There's also a pool back here. And then once you go upstairs, we have a nursery. There's a bedroom here with an ensuite. And then over here, we have another bedroom. And then both of these bedrooms just share a bathroom. So it's like a Jack and Jill kind of situation. And I guess we'll just check out maybe like two more houses, maybe like one over here, because I kind of want to see what these look like. So let's open up this one really quick. So down below, we have a garage, a living room. There's a workspace, an art easel, some toys. We have a kitchen and dining room down here. And then upstairs, we have one, two, three, four bedrooms. And then there's also a bathroom in the hallway. So I guess we'll just maybe check out one more house. Maybe, honestly, this one. This one is kind of big. I kind of want to see what this one looks like. This one is kind of giving like a cabin vibe. So down below, we have a den space and a living room area. We have a dining room with a bar. There's a bathroom, a nice size kitchen, which is really cute. I like this one. And then once you go upstairs, you have a bedroom here, a bathroom, another bedroom that leads into a bathroom, which leads into another bedroom. So it's like a Jack and Jill. And then upstairs at the very top is kind of empty, but you can definitely add something if you want to. But I think that's pretty much everything for the house. And then there's even like a little garage that's right outside of it. So it's kind of empty though, but there is a garage. <laughs> But anyway, y'all, I think that's pretty much everything that I want to check out for this world and for the whole entire video. So I guess I'll just end the video off right here. But anyway, y'all, that is all that I have for this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like, comment something down below, follow me over on Twitch where I stream a lot more of The Sims, and I will leave every world that I looked at down below. But anyway, y'all, that is all that I have for this one, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye! Thanks for watching!